Oh my god, this looks like an aesthetic build. And I don't do aesthetic. Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Now today we are gonna do a little challenge. I'm gonna try and build a house as cheap as possible and I cannot cross that 10k mark. Just wanna build something that everyone can build when they just start a game, just by working maybe just a little bit. But let's start with everything of course and we will start with what we need as the basics. So first of all, I'm gonna check my money. I have 442,079 so I cannot go 10k below that so I cannot be at 432,079 at the end of this video. So let's try and not cross that. So first of all I'm gonna start with what I actually need in the house. So we do need a fridge. I'm gonna just pick the cheapest fridge I can find. So that's already 500 dollars down the drain. Then we also need to be able to cook. So we will have a basic stove. We also want to have so I guess a sink, you can brush your teeth in the uh, kitchen if that's really necessary. For the bathroom, I'm gonna go to plumbing. Let's just find plumbing for a second here. All right, and in the bathroom, we need to be able to shower. Now, I really don't like this shower because as I told you before, shower curtains just creep me out. So I'm gonna spend just a little bit more on the hygienic shower. Then we need a toilet, of course, as well. Just gonna pick the cheapest toilet we can find here. Now, how much did I already spend? So I already spent almost $2,000, but I think these are the most expensive things. Well, of course, we do need windows in our house and such, but let's start by doing the main shape of the house, and then I need a bed, of course, as well, and maybe a sofa where you can just sit and eat your meal. So I'm just gonna be building something like this, I guess. Just one forward and then here we are gonna put a little garage. I guess I'm gonna do it like this, yes. And then to the back like so. So I'm just thinking where I will put the kitchen. I did not think about how I, how I will do the design, I'm sorry. Um, so let's just try and do it like so maybe. And then this is gonna be a little nook. So we're, we'll have the entrance here. Oh my goodness, I need to try and get out of my words. Okay, so this is gonna be the little hallway we have, and then maybe this is the uh, seating area we're gonna make, and the kitchen, of course, but the kitchen is not gonna be big, so I'm um, just gonna put it like this, maybe, and then if I continue the house like so, and then like so, I can make this into a bedroom. Let's just uh, leave a little bit of space, and then, uh, I'm thinking where I'm gonna put the bathroom of this house. Maybe the master bedroom is just gonna nah no 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 we're not we're not gonna do that. Um I'm I'm thinking you guys where am I going to put this? Okay, let, let's just uh, undo all of this. Oh no 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 this needs to be redone. Yes. Let's remove these walls over here. Maybe the hallway isn't necessary. And then this is gonna be the garage, so the entrance to the garage. Then the bathroom, maybe something like this. And then here we got some space for the bedroom. This is a very big bedroom though. I guess, I guess it can work. I, I'm not sure. Um, let's just see if this one does work. I'm just gonna put the stuff we already bought inside the house. I, I don't know how I feel about this, you guys. I might change it, but I don't wanna spend too much money thinking about how, how I will do the layout of this house. So yeah, it's, it's tricky, it's very tricky. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna be placing some stuff in the kitchen. We also need a place for a sink. So maybe I will put the refrigerator in the corner over here and then I'll go to counters and then place the basic counter since it's the uh, cheapest one I can get. Let's replace this. This is acting weird. I don't know why. Um, okay, then I'm just gonna put another basic counter in here. Well, that's money wasted, of course. That's kind of sad, but we have to do it, I guess. Okay, and then we need to think about how we will do certain things. So uh, this is gonna be a tiny wall with a big door in it to the seating room. So let's just place that. Uh, can I find something bigger than this door frame? No, I probably can't. Now, this door is actually quite weird, so I don't know if I will keep it. We'll see how the rest of the house goes, I guess. And then here we need some doors, so the door to the bathroom is gonna go in the entrance. 
here maybe and then the door to the garage is gonna go in here okay i think we're, we're getting a basic shape done now i only have 7k left to do everything in this house so we're gonna have to be smart and use this space well i guess so the bathroom is over here maybe we'll have some money left for the sink but i'm not counting on it right now so i'm not gonna be using that as a reference or as a thing um, then here for doors we of course need a garage because we wanted that now $760 for a garage door that's gonna be one big thing out of our budget but okay I guess we'll have to do it then the standard the standard window door we're gonna put here um, I wanted to open the other way just so you can enter the living room faster but I kind of want something uh, different here let me let me try something real quick okay and then Let's put uh, this one here. Let's put this one over here. Maybe if that works, does that do something? Wait, I, I probably need to, yeah, I need to turn it around. Okay, so something like this maybe. Uh, switch this out, put this stove over here. Make it have basic counters like so. And then we need a sink as well, of course. So for sinks, I'm gonna go back to plumbing. I'm gonna pick the cheapest sink I can find. Let's just put that over here. And then we can remove this counter over here because we don't need it anymore. And I'm just gonna be placing two little chairs right behind it. So you actually have some room to eat. You don't always have to be in your couch eating. You can actually eat right here at the kitchen island, which is always a nice extra to have. Now, these were quite expensive chairs and I don't know why I picked them. I probably picked them just out of habit. So yeah, that's, um, that's probably not <laughs> smart of me to do but okay then we need some couches as well I don't know which way I want them to be facing now the door to the bedroom is gonna be here we already have a door to the bathroom so probably gonna make them face this way just to create some openness then we will have to get a very tiny TV because we don't have a lot of room to actually place a big TV and we don't have the money for it as well so let's just find the uh, cheapest table I can find to place a TV on we're gonna have to paint it of course and then let's go to electronics and let's see so the 22 inch TV is $560 that is quite expensive and that's also a big part out of our budget and we still need to buy a bedroom oh my goodness you guys am I going to make it I'm not quite sure you guys Okay, let's uh, let's place a door to the bedroom and of course we need a bed and I'm gonna pick the cheapest bed I can get and the cheapest bed is $500 would I go for the single bed you guys? I'm not sure I uh, kind of want a double bed But is it really necessary for a person who lives alone? Well, we have we got two of everything we got two chairs We got two sofa. So I'm guessing I'm, I guess I'm gonna go for the double bed. I'm sorry for a uh, that mistake I said there okay and then we need a closet as well because we want to be able to change clothes and I'm gonna go for the simplicity wardrobe just gonna put it in here well it's not gonna have a lot of detail this house but I guess I guess that's okay should I make door to the garage here or not I'm I don't know I'm not sure I'm, I'm gonna see where my money brings me now we're just gonna focus on placing windows and then I still need to make a roof as well so I want these windows just because they're cheap um, and yeah, I'm, I'm quite cheap currently So let's just go out of build mode and let's go back in it because my walls didn't connect yet And I want a big window over here so you can see Outside and you can uh, spy on your neighbors. Okay, would I go for this one? This one is 200. This one is 60 Okay, that that made it for an easy choice Then I can place a little bit more windows just because it's it's cheaper So I'm gonna place another window here and then maybe um I don't know maybe a window here nah not not right above the stove I don't, I don't know I'm stuck I'm broken I guess I'm gonna place a window over here right where you do the dishes what else do we need in here so I think we got the basics down now we need to start adding the flooring in and that's gonna be quite expensive as well but we still have four thousand dollars left which is actually more than I was expecting at this point. So I'm quite happy that we made it this far. We still have a long way to go, so we'll see how, how this goes. Let's go to roof, and the roof actually is gonna cost quite a bit as well, I think. Yes, $768, but I'm quite happy with how it automatically placed the roof for me, except for this little part over here. I don't really like that. I don't know, should I keep it that way or should I not keep it that way? Actually quite like it overall, just that little part. So I'm, I guess I'm gonna keep it that way. And then I kind of want some little plants in front of this and stuff, but I don't think 
right now this is a good idea so we're just gonna be painting the outside and the inside and see where we get with the rest of our money so just gonna be painting this in a white color and then I'm just gonna give this the uh, bricks let's find them over here where are the bricks or is there a cheaper material that I can use that kind of resembles bricks or whatever <laughs> is this cheap no it's it's all the same price isn't it all right, then this is going to be quite expensive as well. So uh, I think I'm going to go with the gray bricks just so we save $5 every time you paint a wall. And yes, I wish I had quick paint, but I'm on a Mac currently, so I don't have quick paint. But thank you to everyone telling me that I can quick paint. That is really appreciated because it could have been that I didn't know about that, you know, so thank you for uh, reminding me that I can do that, <laughs> but I can't on this computer. Oh my god, this looks like an aesthetic build, and I don't do aesthetic, but okay. And then the garage is gonna be a white color as well. Now, the windows, I don't know, should I actually paint them? Five dollars, yeah, that's that's quite okay, I can actually paint them. Okay, I got 3k left, you guys. 3k to build, oh my goodness, and I still need to do the entire inside of the house. So for the floor, I'm just gonna be using something simple, maybe not painted. Um, let's see, for the floor, I kinda want wood on the floor. Actually, this looks okay in, in the normal color we get, so I'm just gonna be using that wood and uh, we'll see. Now we do need some lights in the house, so that's very important that we buy that as well. I'm gonna pick these ones. These ones give off a lot of light and they're not expensive like the other ones, so we're trying to keep it cheap. But it's, it's kind of tricky. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm getting a little bit nervous because I only have 2k budget left and we still need to do quite a lot. I don't think the house is gonna have a lot of detail, but I warned you for that. I do want a door to the backyard, so in the future that you can like make your own backyard if you have more money. We'll see if we have some money left after painting and such. And I kind of want to be placing a sink in the bathroom as well just because it's so logical to me that a bathroom has a sink so kind of want to give it one. Um, but let's see. Is it worth it? It's $200. Okay that that's okay and maybe like a mirror if I have money for that? Oh my goodness I'm spending so much money you guys. Okay Okay, we, we got it down. This is a uh, this is where the bathroom stops. And yes, I feel the need to add a little carpet in the bathroom. I don't know why. It's forty dollars. We'll have to do it. I don't know. It, it's it's optional. I know, but I don't know. I felt the need to. And then we need some money for painting. So for painting, I'm actually gonna just be picking a solid color, just something simple. Um, maybe this blue or maybe a yellowish color because blue makes people sad I guess and this is only five dollars to paint so we're gonna keep it simple nice and clean inside the house and for the kitchen counters I think I'm going to leave it like that yeah I am it's not worth painting it and it doesn't really like it's not super ugly so we can live with that and I feel the need to also add some decoration into the kitchen but I feel like we won't have money for that now the bedroom I don't know I'm gonna give a give it a blue color because in a bedroom yes it can make you sad the blue color but I really like blue in a bedroom it makes for a sleepy bedroom and that's what you do in there now for the garage I'm actually not going to be painting that I feel like it's normal for a garage just to have that rough uh, unpainted uh, <laughs> look to it so I'm not gonna spend any more money on the garage just because I don't feel the need to and I think you can understand where I'm coming from with this because a garage is just a place where you put your car maybe do the laundry and you, you're not really spending a lot of time in that uh, so I'm not gonna be doing a lot of effort to paint that and actually for the bathroom I'm gonna pick another floor just so I can spend a little less on the walls and the walls are gonna just be a gray bluish color so the fossil color so it makes for five dollars each as well and I'm just gonna be painting that carpet over here as well to that same fossil color too. I'm just gonna say thank you to the fan who donated me. I'm gonna, for, for the hallway, I'm just gonna pick the same color that I used. I need to watch out, I need to do 2K off the budget, which means I have about a thousand and a bit left to do every single thing here. So actually gonna spend it on some more windows because uh, this room doesn't have any windows. I'm gonna go to doors. Are there any cheap doors with windows in them? And then I'm gonna be placing a floor here and I think I, I was able to go to 32 so that makes now 34 since I got 2k. So I do have some money left to work a little bit on the outside. Just gonna be placing two or three or four 
whatever I can place bushes over here just so it looks a little bit more normal and then just another bush maybe here yeah I think I think that looks okay and then a bush here oh my god I'm gonna be spending all the rest of my money on bushes am I not all right and I think that looks already so much better you guys I think I got a thousand dollars left so we, we have some money left for decorations I just uh, place some nice plants in the house just gonna pick cheap plants maybe uh, just so I can place some of them and we're gonna be spicing the house up for storage yeah just gonna place some some racks here not gonna fill them or whatever you can fill them later if you got more than 10k but for now we need to stick to the budget so I'm gonna be painting them in that same gray color the counters have and then I want just another plant I have 600 left so I'm gonna be placing or maybe a light yeah we need a light we need an extra light this is 375 this is too expensive this is $80 so yeah we're gonna be placing that one all right now this looks nice already and I forgot to paint a wall over here so I'm gonna be painting that and now I do want a carpet and a fancy color because now everything in the living room kind of looks a little dull so I want something to break that to like give it that extra uh, fanciness to it so I'm gonna be painting it a red color and then I kind of want like the feet of these chairs to be that red color as well. Just so we got some accents in here and uh, I don't know, just for aesthetics. <laughs> okay, I think, I think this is it. And we got 300 and a bit left. So yes, we might be able to paint the garage, but I'm not going to do that since I don't feel the need to. Forgot to paint this wall. This, this is why it's important to check or double check everything we also don't have a light in our hallway so we are gonna run almost out of budget you guys I'm gonna be so close to that 10k dollar mark and then in the hallway kind of want something else I got about $400 left uh, I kind of want this maybe a hat stand and then like a plant right next to it if I still have the money to do so $200 is the max I can spend on a plant so I'm gonna be looking Okay, yeah, this is gonna be the plant we're going to have to place and then this is gonna be the last item and that means that I cannot change anything anymore into this house because I spent all of my money. So this is what the house looks like from the outside and I quite like where we got to be honest. Like there's room to make a garden over here. We have our garage in a 10k house which is very important. So if you want to save up for a car you can do that. You can place it in your garage. We got a small small living room with a kitchen. We got a massive bedroom. I don't know why it's so big. Should have used the space maybe a little bit better but I didn't. I'm sorry for that but I quite like the size of the living room. It's just so cute. And then over here we got our garage and our bathroom and then we got a little hallway over here as well. So let's go out of build mode and let's see what we actually created. And I'm so sorry if I'm stinky. Yeah, I, I, I didn't take a shower before doing this. Okay, we didn't paint the roof. That's the first mistake I see, but that's okay. So I might give it just an accent wall, maybe paint this in like a different material because now it kind of looks a little bit dull and doesn't have much decorations, but I will change that for myself. But the goal was to stay under that 10k dollar mark. Now this is our little kitchen, we can do everything here. Well, we don't have a microwave yet, but we have like the stuff to be able to cook, which is important. Just no microwave. Then over here we got our bedroom. It has a double bed and a door to the backyard because in the future, I might be able to build a backyard for this which is nice to have and then over here we have our I needed to find a door our bathroom and our bathroom has just a shower a toilet and a sink with a mirror which is very important uh, <laughs> so that's that's the house I, I feel quite happy with it like we stayed under 10k but what does the value actually say nine thousand one hundred and ninety dollars so yes I stayed under that and I'm very happy with what I got so that was it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe